Now you are a traditional healer. You have to know all the secret of us, and you don't have to tell. And you don't have to tell anyone. If you tell anyone, you're gonna lose your mind. And she added and said that uh, all the traditional healers that you see working out there, all of them, they are using a human body part. Uh, good. Hey guys, my name is Machaba Pagisi Petmo. I am the author of a book titled They Are Not My Ancestors. I am an ex-traditional healer, meaning that I was a traditional healer before, but now God took me, saved me. I'm now born again Christian. I am the last born in my family. I grew up in Limpopo, Hutlokwa, Haramohoba. That is where I born and bred. Yes, and I grew up as a normal child just like anyone even though when i grew up the thing that i like was to play football more than anything i even dream of being a, a soccer player a professional soccer player so as i said that i grew up as a normal child but sometimes i will see visions and dreams and those visions sometimes will come true and happen even sometimes when i say things they will come to pass so i do not understand why those things uh, were happening i grew up in a christian family my mother everyone was a christian though i did not like church in fact i did not believe in god or existence of god i did not even believe that god exists so every sunday it will be my me and my mother forcing me to go to church even though i was trying to dodge her but sometimes I will go, sometimes I'll try to run away and go and play football. So the way I hated church, it was like a, a big deal to me. I did not want to hear anything concerning church or God. Yeah, because of even when I went to church, I was not even feeling the presence of God. So I told myself that when I pass uh, my grade 12, when I go to university, I'll be free from my mother and I'll do anything that I wanted because of I'll be far from home. So indeed, I did that. After completing my metric, I went to varsity. It was Houghton, far from Limpopo. So that, uh, that is where I live my life really without going to church. My life was going smoothly and swingly without God, I can say that, until the other day while I was sleeping, I had a vision. I saw the members of church that I was attending while I was at Limpopo. So when I wake up, my spirit was longing to go to that church, but I resisted going to that church because of I knew in my heart and in my spirit that church was not my thing so as you know that what you resist it persists so it ended up overcoming me then i end up going to church so i remember that day when i go to church i found them outside worshiping clapping hand then i joined them mm. one of the prophets came and summoned me and uh, and i followed her so when we get to that side, then she told me everything and she told me that the reason why I had that dream, it was because of God was calling me to the church so that I can work for him. And she told me that everything that I went through, God was with me and he, and he was the one who was saving me and protecting me. Though she explained everything that I gone through while I was a child because of I grew up in a lot of challenges in a spiritual warfare. Then by that time I do not understand why why witches are attacking me left and right. Because of by that time I do not achieve anything. There was nothing that I can point that I can say maybe they are witching and maybe the witches are following me for this reason. So I was surprised, but when that prophet was explaining everything to me, immediately I started to feel the presence of God. Then she told me that I have to be, I must baptized so that God can continue protecting me and fighting for me and start to work with me and through me. So I did that and I got baptized. Then after a week while I was at church, one of the prophet came to me and uh, he told me that I'm a prophet. This particular church that I'm talking about, it is ZCC. Yes, this is where I started my church or experience God or whatever 
I don't know what to call. Yes, so those prophets were from that church. The prophet came to me and they told me that I am a prophet and God wants to use me. So they gave me a dialogue or injunctions that I have to use. So one of the dialogue or injunction that they gave me it was for healing, that there was sickness that was tormenting me by then. So after, after doing those injunctions, I got my healing and I continue with my injunction of my spiritual journey for being a prophet. Some of the injunction or the dialogue they gave me at that church or at ZCC, they gave me a dialogue going to rivers, bathing in the river, praying in the rivers, going to mountains, praying in the mountain, going to the caves, praying in the caves. So they gave me those things and I did that. And fortunately, after two years, I started to prophesy. Yeah, I was enjoying my calling because of I was helping uh, children of God by that time. Yeah, so when time goes on, I started to feel bored because of I wanted a job then. And by that time, I was unfortunate to get a job. I was applying now and then, but there was no luck. I did a job hunting for almost five years without any luck. Then I remember the other day while I was at church, one of the prophets came to me and said, God gave my blessing to my ancestors. So if I want my blessing, I must go to my ancestors and they will give me my blessings, even my jobs, my marriage and everything. God gave it to my ancestors. And they also told me that I've got an ancestral spirit and my ancestors, they need me. They want me to take over their gift where they left off. So even though I did not, I did not want to do that, but I end up doing it. I remember uh, the other day, um, one of the prophets came and summoned me and told me that, no, your prophets, I mean, your ancestors are not happy with you because of one of your ancestors used to live in water and mountains. So in order for you to get those blessings, you must go to, to rivers in the midnight and and get into the caves around past two around past 12 and 3 that is where you are that is where you're going to meet your ancestors so i did that even though i was scared because of i was desperate for job so while doing that i did not know that while i'm going there bathing in the river steaming and doing all these things i was attracting or a, putting on the ancestral spirit and other spirits. Then after that, when life goes on, I started to dream about the dead people, started to dream about snakes. Yeah, then they told me that when you dream about snakes, it means uh, those are your ancestors. Even the dead people that you see in your dreams are your ancestors, so they need you. I did that and I did all the injunctions that they gave me until I grew up spiritually. So by the time or while I was growing up spiritually, then one of the prophets also came to me again and they said, no, you don't have a place in this church. You must go out and initiate and be in a sangoma. Yeah, that is where the struggle started off because of I did not want to be an Sangoma. I remember because of I end up getting a job at some retail. So at that work, um, nothing were working the way I wanted because of even the position that they gave me, I did not like it. Even the salary, it was short. Like a personal I can point that that, that I can say or it is moving forward or, or moving swingly. But I persevered then. So when time goes on, I end up getting another job at, at, at a bank. So I remember resigning and relocating to that side. Uh, moving fast forward, uh, 
I did not get that job, but everything was already done because of I was already signed everything. But the time that I, I had to start working, they gave me a lot of excuses, a lot of excuses telling me that I have to go to training. When the time of training came, they told me that I have to go somewhere. And when that time came, they told me a lot of stories. So they end up saying that they will call me and I must not call them. Even today, I'm still waiting for their call. Then while I was still waiting for them, someone told me that the reason you did not get that job it is because of your ancestors has blocked everything. So they don't want you to work. They want you to, to do their work. So I refuse to to continue or to or, or to take their calling i remember saying that if they don't want me to work then it's fine then i will have to do i will have to create a job for myself i i and i open a business of poultry then i, I bought an incubator so after i bought that incubator i the first patch of eggs i remember buying a 700 eggs then on top of uh, on top of that 700 eggs only 15 eggs were the one that were able to be hatched and the 685 i had to throw them then i just thought maybe it was just a mistake then i bought a second page and that one it was 800 egg though this second round i managed to hatch only 10 chicks and the rest of 790 I had to throw them. Then someone told me that the reason you see these things, it is your ancestors. They are fighting you and they and they are blocking everything. Then they end up uh, destroying my incubator. And then by that time I was, uh, I was traditionally married. Even my marriage scattered away. Like everything that I had like uh, he, they destroyed it and i tried to run away or fight them but they overcame me because of i end up getting sick so by the time i got sick that is where i surrendered and give up and say i will take my calling i did everything that i had to do for my calling i go i gone to inyanga but even before I can go to Inyaga, while I was still at church, sometimes I would dream of my grandfather coming to me, teaching me how to read books and stuff like that. They will come at least once a month. I knew, I know that they will come and teach me how to read the books. And something surprised me because of while I was still at church, I remember the other day I was going to rivers to pray and bath there. So while I was walking along the river, I saw some certain plant or tree. Then immediately I just knew that this tree or plant can heal this and that. And I was so shocked that how can I know these things because of I'm a Christian. But uh, it's something that, he, that shocked me. So Hagi Tlela to as a traditional healer i gone there initiation school then they welcomed me and they did everything but something strange happened because of the first uh, traditional doctor that was initiating me was a man but along the way he did not able to continue because of they said that um, I am more stronger than him. My level is above him, so he cannot initiate me. So we went away and find another traditional doctor. Yeah, then we find a gogo or a grandmother. So she took over everything and initiated me as a, as a traditional healer. So while I was there, I think everything for me were moving so fast because within three months I was able to teach even other people. Within three months I was even I was even able to initiate other people. Within that period of three months, I think next is again a little twasanalaka already. And uh, what can I say? Yeah, Kelly Trasana or someone Yellow Ru Kibekimuruta. I was teaching 
him yeah which is which it will be or he will be my or should i say my spiritual child yes that i have to train so by that time i had a lot of people that were longing me to to train them because of they saw how how i operated because of our so I don't want to say I was powerful, but when it comes to reading bones, I was more accurate than anything else. And and people that I was helping, they were seeing a, a result uh, very fast. So now I'm gonna tell you about what I've learned at initiation school. Though they told me that it is a secret and I must not share it with anyone. And once I tell someone I'm gonna lose my mind or die, but because of I'm no longer under their covenant, but I'm under the covenant of Jesus Christ, so I'm gonna say it and I know that there's nothing that will happen to me. The first thing that they taught us, it was a secret of acting. I don't know how other places they do, but uh, as where I, where I have initiated, they were, there was this thing, Rivija, we call them Ukita, so city, Siagita, and they will play drums. When they play drums, they will be invoking ancestral spirit to come forth. So we will do that and Sishai Ama drums until the the ancestral spirit will come or manifest. Though, truly speaking, and I can say maybe 95%, most of the time, ancestral spirit were not manifesting. That thing, it was just a, a play or an, or, or an act. Yeah, we will tell those initiators or those matwasa nabelo rubajile and tell them everything that we're going to play you a drum. Maybe after one hour or three hours, when you start to feel dizzy, it means that uh, your ancestors already came. So you must just fall down and I will come to you and it will take over. So we will do that. And note that I'm not saying ancestral spirit, they don't manifest. No, they do. And usually I think they manifest more when people are running away from their gift. But once you once you accept the gift, they don't manifest that much. And what we see or what you see or the traditional healer or spirit they manifest those things they taught us how to do those things they taught us how to invoke even when we invoke it doesn't mean that the ancestral spirit indeed they have manifested we just do then act so that is one of the secrets that they told us and they told us that this thing we must not tell anyone because of even the people who will be playing the drums they don't know the secret they don't know that the people that they are playing the drums from they are just only pretending and the other thing that they told us that is also a secret <clears throat> uh, it is using human body parts yeah this one they told they told us i remember the other day i was with a policeman he came to consult and we did everything so in that consultation he wanted uh, to have a protection against the gun against the bullet so after that i remember asking my governor how to mix that herb or muti or a hex or spell whatever or, or should i say muti yeah then uh, she asked me to call my her spiritual daughter the one that he initiated before me though i was surprised why she did not want to tell me by herself so i did that and i called her, her spiritual daughter and she explained everything to me all the mutis that I had to mix in and when she finished she, uh, she told me that oh don't forget to put a uh, bones then I was like mm, which bones and uh, she said uh, human bones I was so shocked 
and uh, she felt that I'm shocked and she told me that now you are a traditional healer you have to know all the secret of us and uh, you don't have to tell uh, you, and you don't have to tell anyone if you tell anyone you're gonna lose your mind and uh, she added and said that uh, all the traditional healers that you see working out there all of them they are using a human body part there is no traditional healer who is not using a human body part so i was so shocked because of i used to hear this in radio or in tv uh, 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 interviewing other traditional healers that uh, 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 about a human body part and they all refused and then and then they said this is all lies so then i remembered that no maybe this thing it is true but i told myself that i won't use any human body parts but surprisingly from that day i used to dream or have a vision seen um, movies that had to mix with human body parts yeah so and after that i remember going to going back to bagogo or the person who was initiating me uh, then i told her that her spiritual daughter told me that we had to use a human bone a human bones then uh, she told me yes it is true then i asked her where is that where is those where is those a uh, uh, bones and uh, she told me that she uh, she dig i mean yeah she has hidden them at the back of the heart by saying that she confirmed everything that they are all using human body parts so i asked her that because of i want to i want to do motives for that particular man what must i do and he told me she told me that all the motives that that he have she has they are already mixed with those bones he grinded them into powders and he used them so i was so shocked and the other day she sat me down and told me that um, even even aborted children and that they that they had miscarried they also used them and then uh, she told me that uh, the one that they the one uh, the children that they have aborted they use them to help other women to uh, to get babies so i asked them how do you do that and she told me that they bought those babies from 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 hospitals or anywhere then after that they will mix them with a muti and put them on the on the sun to, oh, yeah on the sun so that they can be dry after they after they are dry they're gonna grind them into powders and use them same as those ba those babies or fetuses that were miscarried they use those things to help um, um, other women so in other ways i can say a lot of women or, or i can say 100 percent of women who have gone to traditional healers uh, to seek help in order for them to conceive i can say they have eaten other children even though they did not eat them directly but they were already grinded them into powders and the other one that was for miscarried they she told me that we also use them to prevent a miscarriage uh, yeah, yeah we also use them to prevent a miscarriage from other women so that is how they were using them and sometimes you can use them for other things it will depend on the result that you want to use so he she told me that a uh, human body part is the one that give a multi a, a strength or to be so strong so that is why they had to mix those things uh, with human body parts and other things that we were also using you it was simple thing like a, a human hair specifically for white people we were also using a human hair and in those human hair we were using them specifically for luck yeah so i remember the other day i was asking her why are we using a a, a human hair especially for for white people 
and she told me that it is because of white people are associated with wealth it is a right to see white people who are poor though i'm not saying that white people are not poor but majority of them most of them they've got this dignity of being a boss when we see the white people have got that mentality that uh, she or he's a boss so that is why we were using their hair so i remember <clears throat> asking them that why are we using their hairs why not other parts and she told me that because of uh, the parts of of white people are so scarce then i asked her where do they get this white hair then they told me that she have got a friend who's working at a saloon so is the one who come and sell them to to her then she also said that uh, even they uh, the parts like the hand or whatever the hand or whatever part of of those white people they also work and they can do tremendous things so uh, that is one of the things that they taught us about human body parts even this thing of albinos the reason why most people or most traditional healers use albinos it is because of albinos they can be associated with white people though i'm not saying that uh, albinos are white people but but when you use albino and white people you almost get the same result sometimes you can even get much higher result than when you're using a, a white human body parts than using albinos yeah that is what they taught us and what we were doing yeah so as time continue um i can say i was working there as a traditional healer everything was fine even though after 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 i got initiated because of they promised me that if I get initiated, once I finish, they can give my job back, they can restore everything. But they did not restore anything. Even my job, they did not restore it. Even my businesses, they did not restore it. Like everything, is, it, it seems like they were lying to me. They just attract me with those things that if I can do this, I, I will get that. So after getting initiated, I wanted to do something for myself like getting a job but unfortunately I did not get it and they told me that uh, my, my ancestors they don't want me to work they want me to stay at home and work uh, for themselves or work for myself and and help other people so by that time <clears throat> there was I think there was a time whereby I got blocked yeah i've learned that ancestors they've got lie they lie too much so by that time i was wondering how can they do those things to me but i end up accepting whatever that that they were giving me even though there was nothing much that they were giving me because of they end up blocking me or tied or a witches end up blocking me or blocking my ancestral gift so when they do that there was no one to come to me even people who are selling there was no one who will come in and promote whatever that they were selling so i was so shocked that how is it possible that the ancestors can be blocked by other people especially witches or a human being because of by that time i had a mindset that ancestors are so powerful and strong so there's no one who can mess up with them so when they tied me or my tied my calling i was so shocked that how is it possible how can my ancestors let a human being to defeat them because of i used to have I used to have a mentality that ancestors are so powerful and no one can touch them when they want things they want it and no one can stop them so this thing bothered me too much so i remember the other day they told me that i had to build them a hard a rendezvous so i asked them that no there's no problem i can do that but i need money to do that but they did not respond uh, they requested a lot of things without providing a way 
so i was so shocked that how can they demand these things while they're blocked or they do not provide ways so i end up Mm, I, I end up going outside to other traditional healers seeking help so that they can unlock my calling or unlock my ancestors or unlock my my ancestral spirit because of by that time I was not waking so I made a lot of up and down seeking help I until I got tired and irritated because of I remember the other day I was saying no I did not cry for this gift that the one who called me why does it seems like a, the burden is with me because of by that time I had to provide for my ancestors and protect them because of if someone can block them it means ancestors they need a protection instead of them to protect me by that time they will say they are thirsty they need blood they need goals they need this and that it, it was like i had a, a burden of feeding my ancestors instead of my ancestors feeding me i had to fight for them instead of them fighting for me i had to provide for them instead of them providing uh, for me then i end up getting irritated so i sit at home then the other day i had a vision uh, my ancestors they yeah they appeared in in my vision and they told me that i need a human body parts in order for me to be unlocked in order for me to get back to work and and work there they are calling then by that time i was so angry i did not want i did not wanted anything to do with them i remember say, telling myself that i won't do anything even though by that time someone came to me and she said at hospital i can get a a miscarried baby they can help me yeah but i refused to do that so the struggle continue I, I i just thought maybe things will work out then the other day it was 19 november 20, <clears throat> 2019 yeah while i was sleeping then i heard a voice speaking in my room saying you are a child of god and you were supposed to be doing the work of god then i wake up immediately then i was so shocked that who's this because of by that time our thought it was my ancestors then uh, the following day i called my covela and i explained everything to her and tell her that i had a voice in my room last night and that voice told me that i'm a child of god and i was supposed to be doing the work of god then i asked her country what are we doing here because of by that time i thought that we were doing the i was doing the work of god because of ours we were helping the children of god even christian they were coming to consult so they they taught me or they told me that we are doing the work of God. So, so I, me, I thought that I was working for God and for my ancestors at the same time. And when I was explaining everything to her, she was so shocked and she said, maybe one of your ancestors used to be a Christian. Now she wants you to do Christianity thing. Then I remember telling her that, no, but I was a Christian before. But, and they took me out of it, out of church and they initiated me. Now they are telling me other thing about God. So she said, no, just go and talk to your ancestors, go pastor. So I did that and I did not get any response. So this thing I did almost a week yeah without any response from my ancestors so the other day i was sitting alone at home then i just feel like praying then immediately i kneel down to pray so immediately when i was about to pray that voice came back again and that voice said my child it is me your god your lord i want you to go back to oh he said 
my child it is me you are lord you are god i want you to quit your calling and go back to my churches and tell my children that i am god and i'm alive and tell them that there's nothing impossible with me and also tell them that i am coming soon <sighs> yeah after hearing that voice i was so shocked then I did not know what to do because of our thought that God don't want anything to do with me. And that voice continues and said to me that I must write a book. I remember in my heart, I was, I was telling myself that the only thing that I know it is Mutis, or maybe should I write about Mutis? But by the time I was talking to myself, I think God knew what I was saying. And he said, no, you don't have to write about those things. I will tell you what to write and I will even show you what to write. Then I stand up and I ran to uh, to dining room because of I was shocked that I had that kind of voice. So... When I get there on my sofa, I just sit down and I was talking to myself saying, no, I'm not going back to change because of I've got ancestral spirit. And I was asking God that God, is it the way you're going to punish me because of I left change? Is it how you're going to embarrass me because of I knew how dangerous ancestors was. So I was scared. I was scared of them. So I told God that no, surely he have got other prophet that he can send, not me. But God responded and said, no, I have chosen you because of I love you. Immediately when I hear God saying I chosen you because of I love you, I wept like a, like a baby because of uh, way back I almost committed suicide. Yes, I almost committed suicide because of I was thought that maybe God don't love me or God don't have any plans for me. And by that time when I wanted to commit suicide, nothing was moving. Like everything was bad, you know, bad and Like there was nothing that I could point that, yeah. And by that time, even though I've graduated as a top student, I did not get a job, even marriage, like there was nothing. There was nothing that was working out for me. So I was so shocked when God say, when, when God was saying that um, he loved me. So I, to, I told God that, no, I cannot go there because of I've got ancestral spirit and my ancestors won't be happy about this. Then I did not get a response. Yeah, then after two days in my dreams or vision, I saw a man praying for me. And while he was praying for me, I saw a, a mermaid spirit coming out of me. Yeah, then I was rolling in my, in my dream, not knowing that even, even on real life, I was even rolling. Then I woke up. Then when I woke up, my, my heart was beating fast. And I was wondering if that was happening in real or what. Then I went back to sleep. Then the following day, while I was sitting alone at home, then the Lord came and He said to me, I've removed your ancestral spirit. Now go back to my children because of they need you. Yo, I do not know what to say because of everything that I, I could reason. Uh, God did not take it. So I, I end up accepting to be sent by God. I end up accepting that I'm going to quit my calling as a traditional healer and go back to churches. Even though I was scared of my ancestors, that they're gonna kill me or do something harmful to me because of, I used to hear stories, people saying that when you quit your calling, something bad will happen to you. So even me, I thought that 
something will happen to me but god promised me that nothing will happen to you i still remember very 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 vivid about that day when lord was telling me that he will never leave me nor forsake me so i had to trust the word of god when he was saying that he will never leave me nor forsake me so when time goes by the lord told me that i have to destroy everything that i was using my emojis my everything even my ancestral clothes then by that time i was no lord because mm -mm. i remember asking god are you sure that you want me to destroy this because of my ancestors they're gonna yo, they're gonna crush me but still god said nothing bad will happen to you and they will never and they won't touch you so i believed god but i was hesitating to destroy those things then the other day i had a vision seeing a lot of angels coming down from heaven then two of them the angels the number of angels that i saw it were more than thousand there were many angels that were flying over me and two of them came to me and they said to me that we are oh i am the one who said to them thank you for protecting me then they responded and while they were responding i did not listen and while they were responding then i woke up so immediately when i woke up i felt so relieved that at least i know that i'm not alone i know that god sent his his angelic being to protect me then since that day then i destroyed everything 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 that way belongs to my ancestors even the multi even ancestral cloth so the first day after destroying them obviously i was expecting a visit from my ancestors because of i knew that they won't let me go just like that but to my surprise they did not come they didn't came so i was like and then even the second day the fourth day the fifth day almost a week passed by that is how i got saved yeah and now i've i've written a book and if you want a book you can call me or you can get it on amazon that is where you're gonna get me and if there is any bookings because of god told me to go to churches to tell his children about his message if anyone want to call me or invite me feel free to call me or invite me thank you Hello guys, my name is Machaba Pagisi Petmo. I've been through the most.